What was the first thing you worked for to save up enough money to buy? 13 inch color TV with a built in VCR. Had to get it in a lot of babysitting hours for that bad boy. <laughs> do what you gotta do. An original Game Boy. Yes, now we're talking. I cut lawns for a summer to save up for it. Love it. A TV for my bedroom. I wanted one when I was 13 and my parents said that was fine as long as I paid for it myself. So I got a job picking strawberries at a local farm. Love it. Yes, I got my TV, but I was so sick of the sight and smell of strawberries that it was at least a year before I could even think about eating them again. A trumpet, professional brand silver trumpet. I wish I still had it, but it was stolen. Oh, that's rough. I am a mask says renting my first apartment rather than sharing. Love it. A 1979 Gibson Les Paul custom guitar. Oof, I bet that was some pennies. I paid $400 for it in 1987 and sold it for $500 a few years later after I bought a Fender, which was more my style. Wish I never sold it. It would be worth over $3,500 today, easy. Whoa. Missed opportunity there. A mountain bike in high school. It was a Gary Fisher full suspension bike back when full suspensions were fairly new. It was kind of a big deal for me. Clothing that didn't come from Kmart. <laughs> a hamster, that's interesting. Not just the hamster, as those costed like $7, but the cage, the plastic hamster ball thing, the bedding, the treats, the works. I named him Sam. There we go, good name. He lived to be almost five years old and he was the best. My mum helped me figure out how much money food costs and I made sure I had enough money saved at the time of buying him to be able to get him food for at least a whole year. Good work. My mum didn't think he'd stay alive longer than that. <laughs> Magic Man says, worked two jobs and sold plasma whilst in college a few years ago to take my then girlfriend and myself to Europe. Neither of us had ever really traveled before and she was always worried she'd get stuck and never get a chance to see the world. Though bringing her along was a huge waste of money for the longest time after we broke up, but she died recently and I found out she kept a box of mementos from our trip. In hindsight, I think that was probably the best money I've ever spent. Crikey, that's rough. Good work. The whole Beatles rock band set with the drums, mic and guitar. Only had that job for three weeks but got enough to buy it and was beyond happy. Good work. A transistor radio in 1972. Clothes. I grew up poor, often going to school with jeans that I grew out of a year ago. They would be tight and would get like high waiters or waters, uh, while everyone else had well-fitting or baggy jeans. I stood out and I got teased and bullied because of it. When I got to high school, I got a part-time job and started buying some decent clothes, jeans that fit, decent shoes, that sort of thing. My first major purchase that actually required saving was a nice leather jacket. It was about $400 roughly 30 years ago, which was several weeks pay. A year in Japan. Saved up $800 for the deposit at the age of 15. Then the program sent a letter asking for the next $3,000 within a month. I was devastated. Yeah, that's a lot. Couldn't manage it. Family wouldn't pay and I lost my deposit. Oh, the worst. My Japanese tutor, who I paid, found me a program with a scholarship, which brought the price down to $2,600 altogether. My parents eventually agreed to that one. A lizard when I was a kid. He was already sick and the pet shop lied. He died three months later and spent my remaining money on vet bills. Oh, that sucks. Drivers, education, there we go. My father refused to pay for it, wouldn't allow me to take it till I had saved enough money to pay for it myself. When I was mid-teens, I was bussing, busting tables at a steak type restaurant, getting paid under the table. I saved, I saved up for a boom box with detachable speakers cassette player and a five inch black and white tv built in that sucker took 8d batteries and was heavy as 
This was mid 80s, so I don't remember the price. My brother and I discovered that we could record the audio from the TV onto cassettes. We used to record and rearrange lines from movies to make different conversations laugh out loud. Very time consuming, but money well spent. Love it. College, despite having scholarship and financial aid, I needed to support myself. I got my first official job at 15 to help pay for college and move out. My parents refused to support me financially and I desperately wanted to move away as soon as I graduated from high school. I worked my ass off for all of the summer of 1975. At the end, I bought a programmable calculator, a TISR52. It allows you to save your programs on magnetic strips. It was the first programming I ever did. My demonstrating my work to a teacher at school got me access to a computer the school had. I never went to college for programming. Instead, I landed a job in what would have been the middle of my junior year of college. In April, I will be a professional programmer for 40 years. Hell yeah, good work. My first cell phone at 16, washed dishes at a hospital. Fuck that job. I was fixated on the new black Motorola Razor. Parents wouldn't sign a contract for a plan either. So I was paying 10 cents per text and prepaying for minutes. Even though I was getting bent over by singular wireless, it was a step towards independence. It was a sexy phone at the time too, laugh out loud. I also saved 1K for my first uh, POS car, but I remember being more excited about the phone, haha. <laughs> Guitar. I was 14 and saved up for over a year to buy a Les Paul standard, £2,000-ish. Our French class in high school was going on a field trip to Quebec. It was about $800 or so. I didn't want to do any of the fundraising and I was 17 at the time delivering pizzas after school. So every day I'd come in with my previous night's worth of tips, which was about $30 to $70, and gave it to my French teacher until I had enough. Breast augmentation. I was a pancake flat chested and was bullied as a child and young adult. I was even made fun of by my own mother frequently. That really messes with a kid's head. So in my 20s, I left my home state and moved five, 500 miles away. I worked two jobs for six months straight with one day off in six months. I scrimped and saved up enough money for surgery and a week off for recovery. My self-esteem has improved so much that I'm literally a different person. That was 25 years ago and I haven't regretted it for one moment. Amazing. Good work. A gaming PC. I was 16 and about to start college, worked all summer, spent a fortune on it back then, 15 years ago. Had a 7800 GT graphics card, can't remember the rest of the specs. Edit. I'm in the UK so we can start college slash sixth form at 16. This huge animal encyclopedia. My mother was very poor, but she still let me earn a bit of money by doing extra chores around the house. There was this big animal encyclopedia at a local bookstore. It was $150, way too much for even a present. So I saved up all my chore money for a very long time. I believe around a year. I still came up short. I would still buy candy here and there. In the end, my mum paid the rest of it. I spent days reading that thing. I kept it for years and in the end I gave it to my younger brother. I don't know where it's at now. My first car. I've been working since I was 17, minimum wage, and I just bought mine at 19 years old. So let's go. It cost me $5,000 and I was able to pay for it all at once. I was super happy and proud of myself. It's a 2012 Ford Focus cell hatchback and I love it a lot. Yeah, let's go. Good work. A Gibson Les Paul guitar. I still have and love it many, many years later. That's the third one that's come up in this video. Very interesting. I got my first job at a hardware store at the age of 16. With my first paycheck, I bought cat food, a litter box, cat toys, litter, and a bed. Then I adopted my first kitten, Simon. He's a grumpy boy, but I love him anyway. Amazing. This will probably get buried, but I mowed lawns to buy fabric so my mum could recreate Elizabeth Swan's gold and cream gown from the first Pirates of the Caribbean film, the scene where she falls off the wall into the water. I still have it. Incredible. Edit to add cool costume tax, Elizabeth Swan dress. 
a leather biker jacket. It's still my baby 10 years later and I would save it in a fire. Wow. A PS2, love it. My first purchase ever with money I made from a job was Independence Day on VHS. The Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring extended edition DVD mode. Mode lawns, save the lance, which was rare in my cash strap family. Stockpiled birthday money, anything it took because I loved these movies. Next year, I did the same for the Two Towers extended edition, amazing. But my grandmother, God bless her, gifted me the Return of the King for Christmas the next year because she wanted me to save my money, amazing. I still have them and watch them frequently, that's awesome. Nintendo 64. I grew up the youngest of three boys in a pretty poor family. I never had anything of my own. I was always an afterthought and everything was always hand-me-down for me. We had a NES that my grandfather gave us, but my brother would always hog it and never let me play. I was always stuck watching. I started doing yard work and saved up all year for it after seeing all the commercials and ads. My confirmation, Roman Catholic, and birthday hit on the same month and finally put me in a position to buy it. It was never mine though. I got to play it just as much or less than the NES. Nothing in this house is yours. Learn to share or you're not allowed to play it at all. Wow. Heelys, they were like $65 and I was 11 years old. So I saved coins and chore money for six months to buy those sleek black and pink ones. Man, I rode those straight into the ground until I physically couldn't smash my feet into them anymore. Matter of fact, I'm about to go get me a new pair. A plane ticket out of Australia to go on a three week trip around the UK and Europe by myself, amazing. Loved every minute of it and moved to England a couple of years later. That's cool. No regrets. An Electro Harmonics Metal Man. My first CD, Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. And I paid in all change. Good work. Eggnog. Different. My brothers and I would always gulp it down the minute it came into the house. So in eighth grade, I shoveled a couple of driveways and bought my own pint. Drank it before going home, got violently sick, no regrets, wow. My prom dress. I got a part-time job as a sign spinner in the weekends and high school to pay for my homecoming and prom dresses because I knew my mum couldn't afford them. Bless you. A TV in 2005, I think it was a 19 inch, cost me about $120 and it took me forever to save up. Kinda cool to think about how far I've come. Love it, great work. I just upgraded my TV and the whole sound system on a whim. No saving up required. Let's go, good work required. Let's go, good work.